Hello and welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about Deep Rock and this is going to be more of just a sort of talking head video about a question that I've been getting asked quite a bit as well as quite a few other DRG content creators have been, which is season four going to be kind of light on content. And I think there's a couple of different ways that we can answer this as well as I have seen some other people's videos addressing this as well as just some players concerns about this because season four does seem to have a little bit less content, at least currently than what we've had in the previous seasons. That being said though, I'm still pretty optimistic about this season. I think it's still going to be pretty great for Deep Rock, and I do like seeing Deep Rock get updates because they usually function very well. And I'm also going to explain my view on the update and just updates in games in general. So first up, what we're getting in season four is actually not going to be a whole ton of different things. We got a bunch of new enemies, which I think are really cool additions to the game. Uh, we have the new randomized beer, the new randomized loadouts, which are two of my favorite things. I love doing these for like challenges and stuff like that, and I'm sure a lot of other people do. It seems like those two are very well loved amongst everybody. New battle pass, which is full of a bunch of really cool cosmetics, and the battle passes in Deep Rock are probably implemented the best out of any sort of battle pass in any game, although that's just kind of a general bonus to Deep Rock, not necessarily just this season's patch or just the season's battle pass. We also do get a new mini boss, which is pretty cool, although I am of the opinion that a lot of people have where it's gonna get kind of old fairly quick if you play the game pretty consistently. And just talking about playing the game consistently, I have a lot of people actually show up to my streams and think that I only stream Deep Rock and like nothing else. And I stream this basically every day for what would be like a full-time streamer's job. That part isn't really true because I stream Deep Rock about twice a week for about eight hours in total, and that's it. Usually I have these split up to where we're going on deep dives. I'm always holding open lobbies for anybody to join, and if you're watching this and you're wondering, I do stream Deep Rock on Wednesdays and Saturdays, so if you'd like to try to hop into matches with me, feel free to. It is first come, first serve. But that's about it in terms of like streaming Deep Rock. Outside of that, I usually do the weekly deep dive for a video once a week and then or at least the lead deep dive video which is about an hour or so on my part and then i might record deep rock for about another hour so realistically in total i'm only playing deep rock for about 10 hours throughout the entire week which might sound like a lot for people that have full-time jobs and don't have a whole bunch of time dedicated to playing games and in that case then yeah it is actually a lot of time but since i do this as a job not as much it's basically 10 hours out of my week that i'm using mostly to get content and mostly to get uh, videos made out of the stuff that I'm making because usually two of those four streams that I hold are going to be repurposed into videos if not all of them being repurposed into videos or repurposed into shorts and a lot of my time generally goes towards editing and actually setting up stuff to go out on time. So there's first off that where I just don't play as much or as long as certain other people do not saying that's a good or a bad thing it's just a thing that I should point out. And the other thing is that I play a lot of different games and usually are working on multiple different projects at a time. I'm usually trying to make multiple different guides or different overviews for games, maybe trying to do a challenge run in a particular game and trying to make that into a full length video. So bouncing back and forth between games definitely keeps DRG fresh for me and I don't really get the same sense of burnout that I could see a lot of other people getting if this is like your main game so with that out of the way, let's talk about updates in games just in general. And Deep Rock, I think, does a pretty decent job of getting updates. It's from a small team, so it's bound to not get as many updates as other games will, just simply because this isn't uh, made by a very large company. If you have a large company, you have a lot more people that can put a lot more resources into this, and then you see things like uh, seasons every three months or something, or a year-long season with multiple events spanning that entire season. Uh, you can see this in like Apex Legends and a bunch of other games that usually do this, but these are produced by much larger studios and want to consistently incentivize people to play the game and to have new stuff so that they can grind for, so that they can potentially spend more money on, so that the company can make more money. Deep Rock doesn't really have that. It still has stuff that you can grind for, but it's usually out for a very long period of time. And even if you don't get it during that time, you can still get it later, which is awesome. That's actually a really big plus to Deep Rock in general and just to go ship overall. And one thing that I can positively say about Deep Rock is that whenever an update comes out, the game generally functions very well. I've only had on a few occasions where the game has become unstable. Generally, I don't have very many crashes during the experimental build, during the actual season coming out 
I maybe have like one a month and it's kind of a rarity uh, if I ever have any at all. Unlike some of the other games that I play somewhat frequently. I'm looking at you Dead by Daylight where almost every patch that comes out for this game it breaks the game and something doesn't work and sometimes things remain broken for like a year before they finally get fixed like game breaking bugs stay in the game forever or there's just a, a hacking problem that's going on where you just have cheaters running rampant throughout the game or a, a host of other issues that are going on there or you get updates that are for like killing floor 2 which a, a game that i really really love but it has basically been on life support for forever, which is very weird because the company making it, it's basically like their most money making game. So you think they'd put a lot more effort into it, but they honestly don't. The last update that we got, which just came out a couple of weeks ago, just about a week before Deep Rock got its experimental, we got like two new weapons. One of them is just a reskin of an already existing weapon. We got one new DLC weapon, which will cost you $10 if you want to buy that. And we got a map that was a modded map, as well as some tweaks to class changes, which did kind of change things up a little bit. But even so, it's not a huge update for what should be a game that should be getting consistent updates if they wish to keep it live to where it's still making them money. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but yeah, whatever. I would have just made the game free at this point. And then there's other games that I play pretty frequently that get a lot of really good updates. Something like Hunt Showdown actually gets a lot of really good updates. It gets a lot of DLC updates, which people complain about, but it's purely cosmetic ones. I don't really get why they complain about that. But the actual content updates that we get to that game are really, really good most of the time. And the game doesn't break all the time, which is also really good. So as you can kind of see, my view of game updates are kind of all over the place, where Deep Rock is pretty consistent, and then we have some other games that are just inconsistent or just very lacking. So I have kind of a mixed view on this. If you're only used to Deep Rock getting updates, Deep Rock tends to get a lot of quality of life updates and tends to get a lot of good updates. I've heard that point being brought up by a lot of older members of the Deep Rock community and uh, have kind of been sticking with this game since it came out, which I'm not actually a part of. I didn't really start playing Deep Rock until early 2020 and then kind of picked it up and put it down quite a bit. It wasn't until about two years ago that I actually really started getting invested in it and playing a whole lot. So right around the point where season one was coming around, there was a lot of anticipation for it, and then the seasons have been coming out since then. Before that, I didn't get to experience all the other updates, all of the second primary weapons, all of the second secondary weapons, the overclocks being introduced, the end game content being introduced. By the time I was realistically playing this frequently, all that stuff had already been added to the game and it was just more stuff for me to do, which made it so the early game was super, super fun and I've got really invested in the game and I've had tons of fun with it. Maybe that's why I'm less harsh on the new season coming out, as well as, again, my past experience with other games getting updates, where it's like, oh, hey, at least Deep Rock's getting some stuff in the game functions, so, you know, two thumbs up for me. <laughs> and I guess to answer the main question, will Season 4 have enough content for people to really stick around? I think if you're getting right into Deep Rock, or if you got into Deep Rock in Season 3, probably, you're still probably having plenty of other stuff to do. The gameplay loop in the game is great anyway. So that's why I always enjoy playing the game. I also really just like the randomness of missions where you can go from extremes of super chill, no problem gameplay, even when you're playing on something like Has5, or if you're doing modded stuff, sometimes the game just gives you a freebie win. And then other times, as soon as you get out the rig, everybody gets destroyed, the mission goes haywire, and everybody's hanging on by a thread till the very end of the mission, which may span the course of an entire hour. But for the more experienced people, the people that have basically gotten all the overclocks, have done a bunch of stuff, have done a bunch of challenges, we basically just got like the beer, the battle pass, and then like the randomized loadouts to have fun with, which admittedly is pretty fun. And I guess this kind of brings up another point that should be taken into account. Should Deep Rock be tailored towards early game players or later game players? Automatically, I want to say early game players, there's not really a reason to be tailoring the game specifically towards the thousand plus hour players. Not that there's anything wrong with tailoring it to that, and I think we could use some more quality of life updates in that direction, like maybe let us just hoard a bunch of our stuff, or have us do some sort of community challenges or weekly challenges or something that pops up on there. I think that would kind of give us more incentive to kind of play around with a lot of different stuff. Whereas right now, it's basically you can do challenge runs, help out new players, or kind of just like mod the heck out of the game. Which, I mean, admittedly, 
you don't really need much more than that for a lot of games to be successful. Look at something like Left 4 Dead 2, where the game is still going strong, like, what, 15, 16 years later? And has an insane modding community, still has a very fun versus mode, can still be fun just to play on the regular standard campaigns. And I'm hoping DRG ends up being in a similar place to something like Left 4 Dead, whenever the day comes where maybe there's not new content being released by the developer, the community still keeps the game alive. That would be the best case scenario because this game is really, really awesome and a lot of people really love it and I totally understand uh, why they do because I love this game too. So I don't know if that really answered any questions or if it was just me rambling for a while, but I did want to make this video and I thought it would be fun. Tell me what your thoughts are down in the comments below and uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for listening to me. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.